Hey everyone, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'll be giving you a quick tour of the visual new build of TV Portal. This is TV Portal 2.0 User Interface Overview. So let's go straight into launching TV Portal, which is the ancient application over here. As you can see, it is using a traditional old gingerbread UI. Uh, nothing visually appealing about it, uh, but it did have very great functionality. For example, right now I'm just going to show you quickly going on to the Big Bang Theory, for example, loading up an application. And let's go ahead and launch MX Player here. And again, you can always change quality and all of the details, which I've already shown in a previous video. But over here, I'm just showing you this is the functionality of the application. As you can see, it is up and running. Now let's go all the way back to the ad drawer again and launch the visual change up of 2.0 which will be coming shortly so let's go ahead and launch the application first of all the thing that you will see is the category view this is the explore functionality as soon as you launch the application it will allow you to go ahead and uh, search via genres so action adventure animated blah 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 now this is again just a demo so it doesn't have any functionality yet but it does give you the visual overviews so as you can see over here if you click on comedy it would be open up comedy if you clicked on horror it would go ahead and streamline horror now using the lovely android design guidelines we're able to swipe from one tab to another as you can see right here so now we're just going to swipe to the left onto the popular tab popular tab i'm assuming will be loading up the popular um, video content that people are watching so whether it's a movie or a tv show uh, i do not believe it will be streamlined between two portions saying for example that it would be you know um, on the top portion for tv shows bottom portion for movies but anyways let's just go into the demo here into inception as you can see when you load it up it shows you the details about the movie quickly here uh, giving you the cast giving you an overview telling you what what genre it is a brief description of the movie when it was released and pretty much over here you would be having your links to the movie or the show for example now let's go back and we'll swipe one more time to the left and we have the highest rated uh, view which I'm assuming will have it streamlined at this point it would have a section for movies and a section for TV shows same thing on the last tab which we have new releases which would be for example the latest shows or movies coming uh, this year for example summer 2014 for a new show or a newly released movie that's available online now we do have the basic um, search bar on the top here but again it's a dummy so it will not be performing that function and the lovely three dot menu overflow on the top which will allow you to go ahead into the settings and to you know more uh, customizability or stuff along those lines now we will go ahead and swipe from the edge on the left to the right and as you can see it pulls up the menu on the menu itself you will have the option to go to your feed the explorer which is the default view as well as your um, shows and your watch list so let's go ahead uh, click on explore which shows you again the default view that you're on we will go to feed this I'm assuming will load up all of your personal favorites and it will just show you the latest content in regards to those favorites going back to the my shows this will allow you to go ahead and favorite your shows so for example if you're watching uh, Dexter you're starting from season one you can go ahead and favorite Dexter and it will keep watch for um, the show of Dexter as you watch episode one two three four it will accumulate those and tell you that you're currently on episode five lastly we have the watch list which I'm assuming is a show that you'd like to watch within the future and you just want to keep it bookmarked on the site um, at the same time for example maybe it's a new show coming out and you just want to keep uh, watch until episode one comes up this will be the purpose of uh, this portion lastly is the time bank now since it is a demo I cannot really test it out in regards to the time bank functionality based on what I have here it just states two months two weeks five days I'm assuming that's how much video content you're allowed to watch uh, in terms of upgrade ability or if you're able to buy the application to have unlimited uh, access I haven't been given that information but more will be obtained within the future pretty much this was just an overview of the application TV portal version 2.0 which is the visual upgrade in terms of functionality as well thanks for watching have a good one